I know this is difficult for you, Stephen. But the Sanctum is gone, and we need to plan for what comes next. What's next? Armageddon has already happened. What's next is hell on Earth. The barrier has been breached. Expect the world to fall, city by city, nation by nation. I'm not ready to give up, and neither should you. It's not just losing the Sanctum that hurts us. It's also Banner. We will handle him, as long as he doesn't become the Hulk. It's his mind that I'm most worried about. That rift charge is just the start of the awful things he could conceive of. He is Lilith's most powerful weapon now. Then you know what we need to fight back with, right? We tried. Blaze is being impossible unless he gives us the parchment. Shh. Voices carry. Let us lower ours. Today's not the day to sleep in, Hunter. Get to the war room. So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? I had one job. Protect the Sanctum Sanctorum, and I failed. Okay, so that's two superhero strongholds Lilith's reduced to rubble, and now she's gone and really pissed me off. She brought me the good stuff. Sometimes. I even impressed myself. Don't forget to write. Sanctum's gone. Hell has literally come to Earth. This is a worst case scenario. In my experience, things always. Getting reports of zombies in the sewers. Vampires in Manhattan? More vampires in Manhattan. The green sky is growing. All right. Let's not give in to rumors. Sorry, Cap. I don't think these are just rumors. The old Spidey sense has been on double red alert since... We lost the Sanctum? Perhaps now you understand why I was so adamant we save it. Think of the Sanctum as our world's supernatural ozone layer. When it breaks down or explodes... Holes open up. Only in this case, instead of a nasty sunburn, you get demons. Lots of demons. And his children basked in his light as the temple of the false gods fell. Oh, what album is that from? The prophecy. The dark god Cthon readies his return. Well, does the dark god Cthon own a dude ranch in the southwest? Because there's a whole lot of something going on out there. Should, uh, probably tell them. About? The carnival. Johnny Blaze and the Quentin Carnival. 
No way. Who exactly is Johnny Blaze? Guy's sort of a, a jerk. Legend. Famous stunt rider, fellow spirit of vengeance, and keeper of the parchment of power. The final page of the Darkhold. The missing piece my mother needs to complete the prophecy and free Cathan. When were you gonna tell the rest of us this? Welcome to our world. The entire point of a secret guardian is to remain secret. Yeah? From the look of things, I'd say your little secret is out. With the barrier gone, our enemies must have been able to detect the page's foul presence. Lord knows what wretched evil Lilith sent to retrieve it. Strange and Tony should start a Lost Headquarters support group. Doctor Strange will shake this off. I'm sure he's seen worse. Damn it. We needed that sink. What the heck am I gonna swing from in the desert? Cactuses? We are going to find some kind of carnival. Surely, swing from something there. If we wipe out the villain quickly, I'm gonna grab a churro. Parchment of power safe so far, but he won't withstand a full on assault from Lilith on his own. He will not be on his own much longer. The parchment will stay safe. Good. And while you're there, see if you can talk some sense into him. Legendary Johnny Blaze. I have heard much You're of that. This is your fault. Play with Mama all you want. I've got people to save. Mama. Long story. Just have to hope Blaze can handle the escape on his own. You have a quick problem on your own to do this now. That one and that. The vaulters she's summoning are going to make things a lot harder unless you destroy them too. Take out the big lady in a rock collection.
is amazing. Had your chance to escape. Your fate is sealed. Not much has changed among the world's fanatics. Those altars may be the fastest way to bring her down. Assuming we can get past that guardian. Not my first rock monster rodeo. Nothing to worry about. Ugly one. No mercy. 
Evelyn. You were too weak for this fight. Try this on for size. Leave some for the rest of us. It's up to me. I'm going for it. Enough insolence. Still gonna try that? Any altars you don't destroy shall attempt to turn into monuments. Shrines to Lilith that manipulate the battlefield. I never knew my mother was so vain. I assume that comes with the territory when you have a cult following to maintain. Walk in the light! That was refreshing. Every once in a while, the legends are true. Now for something real special. Now it's my turn. to that face. Lilith won't be happy to see her favorite ones fall so easily. You cannot resist, child. The prophecy will be fulfilled. Maybe so. Not today. Let's hope not. Not so tough without that little pop gun of yours. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this. Not as much as me. Somehow, you get uglier every time I see you. And you get smaller. Bustin' over me, you idiots! After them! No escape this time, Creed. I was gonna say the same thing to you.
Looks like mommy gave you a chance. Too bad she couldn't do something about that face. Hmm, you're full of jokes now. But let's see how funny it is when I spill your guts. Already killed you, you scum. <laughs> doing it again. I saw an acrobat once as a child, but he was not nearly on your level. This one's for you! Your time has come. You took your shot, but Mother wasn't having it. Looks like they called for help. Running. You're gonna pay for what you've done here. I'm gonna make sure of that. <sighs> Small man talks a big game. That's the best you got. Shows poorly. Take this. This should help.
you. Mother already took away my Just what I need. has found the ideal servant in this one. His soul was black long before she got to it. Yeah, when it comes to pieces of trash, old Sabretooth here is one in a million. You keep talking, but I'm Give me a hand here. Down, but not out yet. I will not fall for the same ruse twice. Thought as much. You're welcome. Enough of this. Easy, kid. These were his people. We did what we could, Blaze. That's what folks with bloody hands always say. If we do not stop the Midnight Sun, the entire world will get far bloodier. Not my problem anymore. Forget the damn prophecy. I know I sure as hell am. Aren't you gonna follow him? Nah, he may not have been listening. But I am. Keep talking, kid. at that carnival was a tragedy. One that could have been avoided. If you did not keep so many secrets... Oh, well, what is this, a duet? Since when did you two get so chummy? Don't change the subject. The spirits of vengeance have always been the secret guardians of the parchment of power. Guardians? <laughs> Blaze is probably using the page as toilet paper right now. I met the guy. You're giving him too much credit. We did what we had to do. That secret kept the page out of our enemy's hands for centuries. At what cost? You cannot win this war with secrets. Magic is right. 
If we're going to stop Lilith from causing any more massacres, we need to come clean with each other, now. There is nothing else, Captain. I wish I could believe you. So do I. Then I don't see a point in continuing this conversation. This is grade A, Bull. Is Steve Rogers everyone's ideal dad? I see it. I can see you are still upset, Ileana. Of course I'm still upset. Caretaker continuously stonewalls us and expects all of us to just go along and make nice. But it never works out that way. You would think she would have learned by now, but I guess not. She should trust us more. I am sure Caretaker's intentions came from a good place. Good intentions mean nothing when the outcome causes harm. She probably does not see it that way. I don't care how she sees it. Neither Caretaker nor Tony told us she gave the page to Blaze for safekeeping. They should know he's one of the least safe people on the planet. No matter what Robbie says. Now all that stands between this realm and Cathan is that overrated stuntman. <sighs> Entrusting it to him was a mistake. Consider Caretaker and Stark know something we do not about Blaze. Oh yeah? Like what? The Parchment of Power is known to have corrupting effects on its Keeper. It twists his or her soul. And, well... Okay, I get it. Blaze is already a bit twisted, so the parchment cannot twist him that much further. Exactly. It probably will not affect him as much as it would one of us. Blaze has the parchment, and I cannot change that. Let's just hope he can hold on to it. You know, it's kind of rude to walk around in here and not give me so much as a hello. I assumed you were asleep. Uh, I don't sleep much. But that doesn't stop me from enjoying the company of a comfortable bed when I spot one. After that fight at the Quentin Carnival, I suppose we all could use a lengthy rest. I can't get too comfortable. Not so long as Sabretooth's still out there. He is your quarry, I take it? I guess you could say that. We have a history. None of it nice. Though he's definitely changed. His nasty side got... well, nastier. From what I have seen, he should not be much trouble for you. I've been tracking and fighting him for decades. If he was easy to handle, trust me, I would have put him away for good ages ago. This last time, though, he's gotten even more deadly. Then I hope you can rise to the challenge. Does not look like you are planning to stay long. Some find our abbey to be a bit unnerving. Oh, this place is nothing. You'd be surprised at some of the places I've rested my boots. <laughs> you talk like that, now you have to tell me some stories. Oh, okay. Let's see. I've been all over the planet, and a few other planets besides. Other... planets? <laughs> yeah. We're not alone in the universe, you know. There's the Kree, there's Skrulls, there's the Brood. Most aliens you're better off avoiding, but there's a few good ones out there. I'll tell you though, after a while, all you really care about is a nice soft bed. 
I see the way you're looking at me. Who's this mysterious guy hanging out in my place all of a sudden? Perhaps. Tell you what, I've got a little break between people trying to kill me, so let's have a little chat. What do you know about this Johnny Blaze? He's a flaming jackass. He used to be known as the Spirit of Vengeance, until even his attitude got too bad for that job. Seems like he's really committed to the carny life now. Must be the funnel cakes and fried candy bars. Do you think a man like that is up to the challenge before him? Guarding the parchment of power is not a task taken lightly. Yeah, we face some vile customers together. He may not have the flaming skull thing anymore, but he's got guts where it counts. How long have you known Sabretooth? Seems like you two have a history. His real name's Victor Creed, and you're right. We've got bad blood going back a long time. Believe it or not, we used to be teammates and pals. Kinda. They say familiarity breeds contempt. Yeah, well, they get things dead on sometimes. Didn't take me long to notice he wasn't exactly playing with a full deck. Creed and I have long since chosen to follow different paths. Yet somehow, we keep ending up at the same friggin' destination. You seem like a nomad, but surely you have a place you call home. I guess you could say Xavier's place has been the closest thing to a real home I've ever had. Who? Oh, Professor Charles Xavier. He's got a swanky place outside of New York City. A, a private school. Lots of space, and plenty of interesting folk. It's a lot like your Abbey here. Except Charles has a baseball field. Baseball? Yeah. If you got interest, I'd be happy to explain all the rules sometime. You seem to know everyone. I assume you know the Midnight Suns as well. I know some of these kids. Didn't know they got themselves a band name. Who do you know? Magic, for instance. She's the kid sister of a buddy of mine, Pyotr Rasputin. I call him Colossus. Interesting. You and she have similar attitudes. Maybe because we have similar backgrounds. I grew up in Canada, surrounded by wolves. And she grew up in Limbo, surrounded by demons. Which place is worse, Canada or Limbo? Oh, Limbo. They don't have hockey. I have taken up enough of your time. I should go. It's been a pleasure. If you have more questions, you know where to find me. Sir, you there? I'm in the library. It's super important you meet me here ASAP. Nice work out there, newbie. Seen a lot of carnivals go supernatural in my day, but today took the cake. So the Avengers mix with Midnight Suns and had a few X-Men. Bam! The X-Avenging Suns! Okay, no, the X-Suns who avenge at midnight? What inspired you to toss your shield around? Did Tony put you up to this? No. Why? Well, he's been asking for years. So you will not tell me? I will, if you promise not to tell Tony. I will never tell. Okay. When I grew up in Brooklyn, I'd always see those old men playing bocce in the park. They could put all kinds of spin on those bocce balls. A few of them even taught me how to do it. So old men in the park taught you how to toss your shield? Yeah, in a way. And a few other things. Like what? To never back down. No matter how far behind you seem to be. That's a decent way to spend time. 
four-story walk-up, Upper West Side. Maybe your new sanctum. Tony, I can't think about that now. The sanctum is just a home. I know, I know. Just thought it might cheer you up. Hey, I heard about this crazy video online. A monkey riding a cat like it's a horse. <laughs> you want to take a look? No. I think you'd love it. Feeling good today, girl? I said no. Tony, don't you realize what I'm going through? My whole world has quite literally blown up. I just want to cheer you up, that's all. Hey, you want to curse me? No, 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 just kidding. Uh, don't, don't, don't curse me. They're accusing me of keeping secrets, as if that's the biggest problem we have right now. I don't know, maybe the demonic green sky over New York was too subtle for them to notice? I think they noticed. Well, it wasn't intentional. We were supposed to win in New York. We weren't supposed to lose the Sanctum, or Avengers Tower. Or Banner. I mean, call me crazy, but would sitting everyone down and telling them all about Blaze and the parchment really have made a difference? I understand why you did it. The fewer people who know about the parchment, the better. That's exactly right. When everyone operates on a need-to-know basis, they can focus. Is that how you are able to focus? Well, no, I need to know everything. Things are spiraling out of control, and right now I just need to figure out what to do about this prophecy. You really think you can stop the Darkhold's prophecy by working in here? Well, I'm kind of known for making the impossible possible. Give me a couple hours and a decent lunch, maybe an Italian hoagie, and I can fix anything. Trust me. If you want to stop the prophecy over lunch, I think you will need a bigger lunch. Ah, well, I need to be careful not to eat too much. Especially carbs. I just blow up and, uh, blow up. Huh. Please excuse me. I need to jot down some ideas. Are you making prophecies of your own? Shoo! Go! Go! Genius at work! I gotta get a sign. Hello. I can hear you standing there, Hunter. What are you reading, Nico? A limited edition print of the Book of Thoth. The Book of Thoth? Where did you find the book of such rarity? I didn't. Someone just left it out. Weird, too, because I was looking for a book on chaos magic so I could understand Wanda's grimoire a little better. I didn't think I was going to find any, since Caretaker probably hid or burned every single text on the topic. But, poof, here this was, waiting for me. Caretaker hid books on chaos magic for a reason. Well, someone ought to tell her books don't bite. Well, not all of them. I do have it on pretty good authority. The Sumerian Book of the Dead will take a chunk out of you if you try to earmark one of its pages. Well, I hope you found what you were looking for. I did. There's a historical account of an ancient Egyptian pharaoh who was struck by a dark madness after reading a page from an old book called... <clears throat> the Scrolls of Cathod. Wait, that is another name for the... Darkhold, I know. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this was the first case of corruption in recorded history. Was this pharaoh's corruption ever purified? Hold up, I haven't gotten to that part of the story. So the legend goes that nothing could cure the pharaoh until this traveling light worker came along, laid his hands upon the pharaoh, and recited an incantation. 
the pharaoh came back to his senses and returned to his good old classical Egyptian disbody self. Sounds like the best possible outcome was reached for everyone involved. Well, not for everyone. So like, when the light worker recited the incantation, he absorbed all the pharaoh's corruption into his own body and, uh, died. He did not survive? No. But the lines of the incantation he used are scattered throughout this book. I'm gonna have magic help me transcribe them and see if we can use them to cure Wanda. Let me get this straight. You and Magic plan on piecing together a 100,000-year-old incantation that worked once and killed the person who said it? Yes? Nico, that sounds too dangerous, even for you. I have to try something! Caretaker will not be pleased if she hears about this. Caretaker can deal! Well, I'm gonna find Magic, see if we can make a dent in this transcription. I'll give you a shout when we do. Until then, not a word about this to anyone. Glad to see Nico found the book I left out for her useful. Took me a while to see that one. There is my ferocious Charlie girl. 